Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you Arch Linux today um, because that's what I've been playing with and um, it's been really good. I've been able to compile Quake 3 which took about an hour and a half. Um, I've got the sound playback working. I've not been able to play any video yet because um, I'm not exactly sure what will play it taking advantage of the hardware. I've tried using VLC and M player and they both just freeze up and, and I've been able to install um, MySQL PHP I've not set them up because I've not had the time but I'm gonna just assume that they'll work because they are installed so anyway uh, I'm plugging in the Pi now and then I'll switch the monitor over Okay, so now, uh, now we're at the login prompt. I'm just gonna have to move the camera over a bit to get. Um, I know, I know this is a bit primitive, but I'm gonna um, show you VNC in a minute, which is like uh, remote access, and it's actually, uh, I think, just as fast as, or almost just as fast at least, as using it normally. So, um, so that's probably what I'll be using to record tutorials. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm just going to log in. Uh, and and yeah, um, Quake took about um, an hour and a half to compile. So, and I'm just finding the uh, finding the folder with the with the uh, Quake three binary. Right, let's try that again. So, there we go. Uh, there's Quake 3. Um, it runs pretty well. If I go on to Setup uh, and System it's running at a resolution of 1600 by 1200 um, details on minimum uh, sorry medium and texture detail is about in the middle so I'm just gonna go and start a, uh, a quick game now I'm not very good uh, I've never ever played Quake 3 before so I'll probably just get killed but but at least you'll get to see um, see what the performance is like of actually playing it and stuff like that and uh, as I say there's not really a better way to record this but I will be um, doing some VNC stuff later where you will be able to see the screen as if I was doing a tutorial um, so and yeah it's, it's a bit of a shame there's no sound really but but uh, I'll do But it's 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 pretty quick. Um, it it get it can get a bit laggy when when you get into like a a uh, fight. So like when there's quite a few guns going off and that kind of stuff and like particle effects. But uh, yeah, I'm not very good at this game at all. But. Uh, yeah, that's me dead. And this is on easy as well. Let's run away. Uh, right, oh, we've got a rocket launcher. Got some armor. Got some more bullets. Let's see who I can find. Well, well, that was lucky. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a little bit laggy. Um, but but you could probably lower the textures and stuff like that. And there's probably more work to do because um, because the device has a floating point, um, some floating point hardware, and I don't think any of the software takes advantage of that yet. So so that would be uh, something that would probably speed it up a bit. But anyway, uh, I could I could play this for hours, but but uh, you've seen sort of what the uh, what the quality is like. Oh well, hopefully you can see from the screen, and you've also seen how uh, how bad I am at playing Quake Three. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, it it is playable, and it would be fun to have like a uh, to set up a server and have have a match between us. Um, but yeah, right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close off Quake now. Um, and before I carry on and do anything else, I'm actually going to um, copy um, a different firmware file for the GPU, and that is so I can. Um, it's so I can use more memory because I won't be doing any 3D stuff um, next. So, so yeah, this is this is going down for a restart, and then hopefully it won't take that long. Right, so it's rebooting, and it's back on now. So yeah, I mean it's it's pretty it's pretty quick to boot. To be honest, it's almost as quick as a normal a normal PC. It's fast. It's faster than my Windows PC. I know that for sure. Um, but it's not that much slower than Arch Linux usually is. Okay, so I'm gonna log in as Liam. Pop the password in, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna start. Um, I'm not going to start X. I'm going to start a VNC server, which basically means that I'll be able to log in, um, log in remotely, and I'll do a tutorial uh, on how to do this as well. Um, but what what this means is basically that it's easy for me to record, um, but also the the difference isn't isn't that much. I'm not sure whether it's because. Um, my VNC will be at a lower resolution or or something but but anyway so I'm gonna start that uh, saying I'll need a password which is fine right and that's been started now so what so I'm gonna switch to my Windows PC and I'm gonna start recording from the screen because because that way you'll be able to see it a lot better. So I'm gonna carry on using the camera for the rest of this video, um, just for the audio anyway. Um, and that's because I wanna try and play some sound and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna start recording the screen and then, then we'll do some stuff. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Don't need audio. Okay, so this is my Arch Linux desktop running on my Raspberry Pi. Um, and the reason I'm using Arch Linux is because uh, personally for me I think I think it's faster. And also, it's just something new to try out. But um, anything I do show you on here, I'll do some tutorials on how to do it on Debian. I'm just doing it on Arch because that's what I've been playing with today, and um, and that's what I've set up. So this is a window manager uh, called Awesome, and it's it's dead. It's dead minimal. Um, it's it's based around like um, like tiling windows so say if I start up a few terminals 
Um, so I've just started three terminals there. Um, they'll all like they'll all organise themselves like that anyway. Um, and I'm just going to hide the bars and stuff off there. But yeah, so um, so I'm just going to exit out of these terminals anyway for now. Um, but anyway, let's let's try transmission because um, it, it this would make like a good a good uh, torrent box if someone wanted to do that, something like that. And uh, I've already installed transmission. That'll be why. So I can go transmission GTK. And that will show up. Um, yep, that's fine. So it may look a bit different because, um, as I say, with Arch you only install what you want. But that is transmission, um, and it will it will work. Um, I'll I'll try and add add one of the. Uh, one of the torrents uh, and I'm using NetSurf for the browser as well because um, no I didn't type it right did I um, I'm using NetSurf for the uh, for the web browser because it doesn't have JavaScript or anything like that so it tends to run faster um, and for what I'm doing at the moment I don't really uh, don't really need need it like so. Don't that much for uh, another good thing about the Arch Linux image that I've found is that um, actually let's just let's try. Well, the Arch Linux is, uh, image is quite small actually, so so uh, I'll just save this save as. Save it in here. Uh, yep, so I can close that. Can close this. And then I'll be able to add that in. Hopefully, anyway. Um, I might be getting throttled by my ISP, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, I'll just save it in Liam. And let's see. This is a. I'm actually using a newer Arch Linux ARM image than than what than the one that's on here. Um, and that'll hopefully be going on the download page soon. But uh, it's connecting to peers, as you can see. So hopefully, yeah, there you go. No configuration. Just need to install it, and it'll be pulling down your torrents. Um, it's. I've tested it with um, an external hard drive as well. I've not got that plugged in at the moment. Um, but that's pretty good. Also, um, with tr with transmission, you don't have to run. Um, the windowed version there is like a web interface and that's what I use on our download server um, to administer stuff so so that is that's coming down just fine um, so yeah So yeah, as I say, I've not been able to, um, I've not been able to play any um, media stuff yet, but I have been able to play some sound. Uh, no, I've been able to play some sound. To play sound, um, I'll I'll show you this again in Debian properly, um, but you basically need to 
um, you need to go to the directory where the well I, that's because I can't remember the name anyway so I'm just going into the folder where the modules are um, to see what it's called because I can't remember okay so you need to do mod probe SND BCM 2835 which will load up the uh, the sound the sound modules for analog sound anyway I'm not sure whether they're for HDMI as well but we can then go into Elsa mixer which has got our volume control that you can change um, and all that stuff but um, I'll, I'll I found something interesting actually which was uh, when you played sound in VLC it was uh, it was pretty slow uh, well the, the sound worked but when you were doing when you were doing stuff it, it seemed to uh, seem it seemed to be a bit weird uh, like it crackle and stuff so See. Yeah, so if I move the mouse, it'll crackle. Um, and that's just because it's using so much of the CPU. I would dig a thousand holes. But um, anyway, I had better success with something called music on console. Um, and you have to start the server which is MOC and then you connect to it with MOCP which is the player um, so I should be able to go into here and um, you get a horrible you get a horrible like hiss as well if you listen but having said that um, it's an alpha. Uh, it's an alpha sound driver, so it's it's basically just extremely rough around the edges. I mean, at the end of the day, it works. So so it's uh, it's good. Uh, and the quality's the quality's not that bad. Um, um, yeah, it's it's not it's not amazing. But if you were wearing a, a pair of in-ear headphones, uh, you wouldn't notice. But it's just because I'm uh, playing this through some good speakers and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. Quit this. Uh, don't have a clue how to quit this, but hopefully that will work. But yeah, um, the the reason the re yeah like I said the reason I've gone for Arch is just because everyone well most people will probably be using using Debian so I thought I'd show um, show something a bit different. But yeah, that that's all I've that's all I've really got time for. I mean, hopefully you've seen a bit more of what to expect from the performance. Um, I'm actually quite happy with with the the uh, the VNC performance. Because there's there's things that'll be ironed out, and once XBMC is uh, is going, the problem with that at the moment is um, that it's only available as source code, and um, I would rather compile Quake than compile XBMC. So that's what I did today. But also, I think there's still some problems with XBMC, and I think it might work better on on Debian for now as well. So I might try it on Debian at some point. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll uh, I'll I'll see you soon. Bye.